UTV boondockers. I promised you guys a long time ago. I'm super sorry. Uh, to show you basically what we take on our trips. I've been doing this for, well, as Nigel, I think, uh, posted on the other line, like five years. Um, finally building my own rig the way I want it and layout. So basically, I'm going to show you all six boxes that are uh, designed to hold everything that we need, as well as the secondary seat in the back here. Uh, stay tuned. Here we go. All right, the beauty of having a Max is that the front two seats can be used for you and your co-pilot, and the back can be used for storage, which is spectacular. k &M did an awesome job, made the seats come in and out super easy. Obviously, you guys already know that if you're in a Gen 2. Uh, what I did is I, uh, I did stuff a little bit of thick EPDM foam back there, quiet down the cabin a little bit, maybe even control some of the heat, not much. Um, I also wrapped these with just some cheap insulation, a little bit of hook and loop on here, try to hold them on, and I made a cheap floor uh, out of some heavy, heavy duty corrugated plastic. Uh, so that just pops in and out. That bag is my base bag that fits exactly side to side. And then I have a tie str or ratchet strap that goes around, goes up and hooks up to there on both sides, holds it in. So I have two of these bags. This bag is camp bag, so it's got everything I need for camping. Um, the other bag is all clothes and gear, hats, boots, everything else that you need in, uh, for two people. We keep all that inside of that. Uh, I'm not going to drag that in and out for you. It is heavy and it's kind of a pain, but I'm going to open this thing up and show you what's inside of it. Real quick. Uh, so I have a six person dome, sun dome tent in there, brand new never opened to keep that just as just in case you never know if that thing fails or if you have uh, guests that don't have a good tent and they need some help there you go a uh, big camping pad just in case as well as an air mattress um, air pump it's rechargeable it'll pump up a queen size i think six and a half times i figured that out uh, on a charge uh three camping chairs uh one basically a spare just in case costco these are awesome uh, if you're at got a local costco get one of these things it's spectacular it's even got a little bit of backrest to it much more comfortable than your traditional backpacking and it folds down to that size it's pretty darn small um, i also picked up this table and this table it's pretty darn good size. I'm going to get that out and I'm going to put all my kitchen stuff on it so you can kind of see what, uh, what kitchen looks like. Okay, everything that I just pulled out on the table fits in this. It's the mid-sized box. Uh, everything's up here. So a dual burner, propane, fire sticks, uh, plenty of towels, cleaning, hot pads, uh, some bags, uh, some clean salt and pepper. That's all I really need. Um, add, if you will, plastics. We just use plastics. It's no big deal. It goes right back in the trash. Sorry, environmentalists. That's how we do it. Um, lighter. Uh, Truma. This is actually, will tell you how much fuel you got in these. I carry a couple extra. I got three of these, actually. Uh, utensils. Just real basic. Don't need anything super fancy. Set of good knives, good scissors, tongs, uh, some cleaning supplies, uh, a very well seasoned pan. Um, this is actually for the fire, just in case you want to do some dogs or burgers on a fire. Put up a couple little, couple little rocks, and away you go. And a collapsible wash, wash bin. So all of that fits into that case right there. You just got to be a little creative. Uh, and then this is the table. So this is our camp table. Now that I've got it fully opened up, it's really strong, pretty darn nice. I had to kind of pay up for it. Uh, but again, another Amazon. Thank you, Amazon, for bringing us uh, some actually good stuff. That is our kitchen. Okay, now to the passenger side. Uh, I have a first aid kit. So again, uh, pocket masks. Good old stuff, ibuprofen, antiseptic, rags, um, pretty much anything you need, hopefully on the side of the trail. 
And thankfully, that I tend to travel with uh, one of the best uh, fire chiefs, retired fire chiefs and paramedics that I know. So everything should be good. But anyways, got everything I need in here just in case that we're alone. I also want to cover, um, I mounted this Rotopax in here. Um, and then so that transfer pump that we talked about, I don't have to take this out. Um, I can, uh, it's kind of a pain, but you can take it out. But it's easier just to take the transfer pump, pump from here directly down into the tank. Simple as that. Um, have not had to use that yet, uh, but just in case, you never know. Sometimes you get lost out in the woods and playing around too long, and next thing you know, you can't make it back. So that's where we're at. Okay, I'm gonna show you the inside. I pulled some of it out because it's one-handed and trying to run the camera is always fun. So I have a transfer pump uh, just by hand operated so I can transfer fuel directly out of that into the gas tank uh, if I need to um, and or oils or anything else. Actually, you can use this for water as well if you're really desperate. Um, I have some funnels in there. I have uh, all the fluids for each three for the motor and both transfer or the diff diffs in the transfer case. Um, some WD-40, a uh, little 12 volt pump, uh, cheap old retire, or tire repair kit, plug kit, you never ever know. Um, and that should be everything in the center. Okay, I wanna show you on the driver's side here what I have set up. Uh, this is all my tool kit. So everything that we need on the road here, uh, obviously some extra towels, uh, tub of towels. I'm not sponsored by them, but I have a friend that is an NHRA racing and it's, they are awesome. Not going to lie. Uh, some good old 200 mile an hour tape, a little electrical tape. This looks crazy, but this is every bolt that I've taken out of this machine. Uh, and I keep spares. For any project I'm working on, I just keep spares around, and you never know. Oh, and there's a hole in it, so I gotta, I gotta get a better bag for that. Uh, clamps. These things come in super handy on the trail. Um, fuse puller and extra plastic nuts and uh, keepers there. Zip ties. Zip ties are the king, of course. Heavy duty zip ties. Um, another rag a little blue Loctite and then essentially oh, a little hook and loop as well essentially everything in here is per Can-Am's site that you need to be able to work on this machine so I just uh, cut some foam uh, embedded everything ins inside here keeps it nice and sturdy and tight uh, even packed in a whole bunch of extra fuses as well, just in case. So that's the toolbox side. Okay, so on all of these, they have a swing up clip, which locks them in. So these are bolted down. I can put the next units right across the top there and just lock them in really quick. So I haven't strapped them. I have road tested them and trail tested them and they do stay on. So this is the center piece, uh, a little folding shovel, uh, a little survival with some flare kits here, um, a homemade 12 volt pump system uh, that plugs into one of the external batteries. Um, I have two battery system, which you've seen on another one. So I just plug this in. Um, I have a foldable bucket, pull a little bit of water uh, out of the stream, let it settle hanging on the side of the door over there and then uh, let all that sediment settle, send it through there and I've got water. Uh, big boy, silky saw, whoops, wrong way. Sorry, big boy, um, phenomenal. Uh, Nigel reviewed this as well, um, not gonna lie, never gonna carry a chainsaw, I don't think again. This thing is monster sharp. We took down some trees with it and uh, some trail clearing went super fast, super easy. Get it off of Amazon, it's killer. Uh, bunch of, you know, easy how to uh, light for fire, campfires, right? Uh, bunch of paracord, little LED, cheapo light, 
in desperation at night. Uh, we also carry head strap lights uh, that go around your head. They work great. Uh, some shake lights, some straps. Um, I do have a little hatchet in here and a bottle jack, which I don't know how great that's going to work for me, uh, but we'll do what we can. Okay, back here, thank, thankfully to a bed extender, which that thing is awesome. Uh, it works great. A lot of extra security there and storage. So I have this set up with uh, three straps, uh, locations, one there, one there, and one there. Uh, which that does is accommodates me to either use uh, my big boy um, cooler, which is a 45, um, right dead center, or I can use two of these, which I have two of these, and this little guy is a 20. Uh, the one side uh, dries with food, the other side is a slush box for uh, beverages, if you will, on the side of the trail, so works out great. Hey, I also left out the third box. The third box is all my dry goods. So those are cooking supplies, uh, chips, snacks, and maybe some Twinkies, because if you haven't had a roasted Twinkie over an open fire, you are not living. And if you haven't had it, you gotta try it, it's awesome. Hey, also, do not forget, please like and subscribe this video. Pound that like button as many times as you can, please. Because the more we get, the more you're gonna get. Thanks a lot. Have a good time.